become our student, and get access to effective and free educational materials. I heard that you're going on your first date Friday night. Are you angry, Lisa? Angry? Why would I be? Please don't tell my mom. Come on. Dating is a part of young people's social life. Besides, you're 16 already. I'm glad that you see it that way. Do you want to borrow my coat? I have a black coat that would look smashing on you. Thank you so much, Lisa. Did you happen to bring that book that we were talking about yesterday? I did. Let me go get it for you. Here you go. Thanks so much. I like the way that the gifts I get increasingly more lavish. I had no idea that there were specific things that should be given on different anniversaries. So what does it say you should give your wife this first anniversary? It says that traditionally, give something made of paper. I can think of two things made of paper, stationery and money. Oh you look awful. What's the matter? Oh, I feel really under the weather. I've got a sore throat and a bad cough. Oh dear, maybe you've caught a cold. Yes, I've had lots of overtime to do recently and I haven't slept much at all. Well then, you should get some rest this weekend and don't go out drinking. Yes, I think you're right. How do you usually spend your leisure time? I mean, do you have any special interests out of your job? Of course. You see, almost everyone has some kind of hobby. Yeah, you're quite right and what's your hobby? I like taking photos out of doors. Oh, photography, it's really a good hobby. Yes. I usually develop and print all my own photos. Do you yourself have a photo studio? Yes, simple as it is. It does work. Don't I know you? I'm not sure. You look familiar. You're Mr. Stevenson, right? Yes. And you're Mr. Jones, I remember. Hi, Kenji. Hi, Debbie. Have a seat. How's it going? I'm okay. How are you doing? Pretty good. Listen, have you heard about the new Thai restaurant over on University Avenue? Do you mean the Bangkok? That's the one. A bunch of us are going there for dinner tomorrow night. How about coming with us? Sure. I'd love to. Great. I'll call and make reservations. Any time after 6 o'clock is good for me. Oh, I'm late. I have a class. All right. I'll call you tonight and tell you the time. Great. Talk to you then. What do you do when you see a homeless person on the streets begging for money? I never really give them money because I don't want to contribute to their addictions. Homeless youth can easily become involved with drugs and prostitution. Do you do anything to help them? I usually ask them if they want some food and then give them something to eat. I figure that if they're homeless, they're probably hungry. That's a good idea. Do they usually accept the food? Almost always. However, sometimes they get mad at me for not giving them any cash. It's sad how more and more young people are sleeping on the streets in London now. 
The cost of living in London is just too high for most people. It's true. The economy is in a bit of mess at the moment. Did you know that few people can pay the rent on minimum wage, let alone pay for food and other living costs? There just isn't enough affordable housing to go around. If only the housing cost would drop, fewer people would be in financial trouble. Added to that is the high unemployment rate right now. Something's got to change, and it's got to happen soon. Politicians like to ignore the problems of the working class. They like to focus on making life easier for the upper class. I can only hope that one day they will change. Do you like flowers? Of course, I like. What's your favorite flower? Forsythia. It's also called winter jasmine, which is the symbol of the spring's arrival. Spring is a lively season. Yes. How about you? I admire plum blossoms very much. It seems that only it can blossom in the cold winter. You have a perfect taste. It is the symbol of laughing at hoar frost and fighting with snow. I admire the bravery of plum blossoms. But it used to be ignored by many people. The bright people will remember it forever. Well, it's snowing. Let's enjoy the plum blossoms when snowing. I don't stand a chance of passing the exam. Come on, Brenda. Never say die. Which season do you like best? I like spring. Why? Oh, everything comes back to life in spring, and the weather gets warmer. I like spring too. We can go for a walk and enjoy the fresh air. Mom, happy Mother's Day. Here's my card. What a surprise! Thanks. It's beautiful. Thank you for your love and care over the years. I appreciate it, Mom. This is the best card I ever received. Mom, what can I do for you today? Nothing, son. I'm already very happy. How about dinner tonight? My treat. Actually. I prefer we eat at home. We'll have more time to catch up that way. I'm sorry I haven't dropped in that much these past few years. Business kept me too busy. I apologize. Oh, don't mention it. I'm proud of you. Thank you, Mom. I love you so much. I heard the film was after the novel The Godfather. Who wrote it? Mario Puku. Who are the producer, the director, the stars, heroine, and the hero? I'm always interested in how, but seldom pay much attention to who. Do you have any plan for your future? I'd prefer to go abroad, if possible. Many people are striving for going abroad nowadays. It seems to be a trend. I'm one of them. What was the last movie you saw? A Korean film called Friends, starring Sang Dong Gun. Really? I've seen that movie too. How did you like the movie? I thought it was pretty good. Really? I can't say I agree. You're kidding. The story and acting were outstanding. I guess I expected too much from the movie, so I was a bit disappointed. I guess it could happen.
Look over there. That is what I am looking for. Let's go. I want to see you play. Be quick. Don't chicken out. Come on. Honey, do you have a second? Sure. Are you okay? You seem a bit worried. What's on your mind? We need to talk. Okay. I've been thinking, and well, I think we need to start seeing other people. What? Why? I mean, we've had our ups and downs, and we have the occasional disagreement, but we're happy together, aren't we? That's just it. I'm not happy anymore, Tim. It's not you, it's me. I know that I can be hard to deal with, and you are a great guy. You are the type of guy that any woman would kill for. So, what are you saying? You're breaking up with me because I'm perfect? Tim, you are too good for me. You deserve someone who can make you smile and make you happy the way that you made me happy. Oh, I could say that I'll be all you need, but that would be a lie. I know I'd only hurt you. I know I'd only make you cry. Baby, come on. Don't do this to me. Whatever it is, we can work it out. Just give me another chance. I know that we can get through this, but we gotta stick together. Don't leave me. I can't, Tim. I hope someday you can find some way to understand I'm only doing this for you. I don't really want to go but, deep in my heart I know this is the kindest thing to do. Laura. Here are your keys. I'll send my sister to pick up the rest of my things next week. I'm sorry, Tim. I wish you all the best, and I hope that one day we can meet again. I'll always love you. Goodbye. Our mission is to help you learn the English language. We have created easy to follow free educational materials for those seeking knowledge of English.